Hey there guys, this is Hedgehog Rider, uh, here to do a sort of look at of the Common Rider official MOOC for Gaim. Uh, this was originally going to be a CD Japan unboxing, uh, but what happened was I just recorded the unboxing and just was not satisfied with it. <laughs> It was it was the most boring video you could ever see, um, so we're just, I'm just gonna go and run down of what the unboxing was like. Uh, I got the Alteration DVD slash CD for Common Rider Girls, just CD DVD lyric book, all that jazz. So that's about it. So that's that. Um, it was this, and it was also this book. So I don't even know why I was planning on doing an unboxing of it since it was only two things, uh, but. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So why don't we go ahead and move this out of the way since uh, it's not really that important right now? Because we're going to be looking at the official MOOC for Gaim. Now, if you don't know what a MOOC is, it's basically a series of uh, file uh, magazine slash book things uh, for the Heisei writers. Um, every Heisei writer has one. I think Drive is getting one. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why they wouldn't. Um, but they've released Kuga through Gaim so far. And uh, again, they're, they're pretty much file books. They have the writers, they have the gimmicks in this case, uh, the cast, all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, why don't we go ahead and get through it? Also, they're like 602 yen. Well, this one was 602 yen. I, I think they vary. Um, so they're around like five, six dollars, which is actually a really friendly pli uh, price. Wow. Price um, for these kind of books because they're actually a foot tall. So you can already get a kind of idea of how big these things are and they're about 34 pages each so they're pretty thin but they have a lot of stuff in it and it's really cool so they're really affordable and they're really cool so we're gonna look at it here today common writer a say uh something series mook volume 15 gaim uh that's the front so why don't we go ahead and go inside also if you're planning if you're planning on purchasing the gaim mook i recommend that you stop watching the video right now because um you don't want to end up buying it and then get spoiled because we're going to be going through this entire book pretty much so I don't want to don't want to ruin it for you guys if you're planning on purchasing it but um anyways on this side uh it's showing off all the other mooks that they've released Forze, Oz, Deno, Kuga, Double Five, Ryuki I'm not sure what this one is I think that one's just a collection because it has drive up there and it has the writers in the background so it's probably a collection right down here is the binder that you can get to hold your stuff in uh, got him on a horse uh, because he did that kind of um, not really ever but here we have the four main riders from the show Gaim, Baron, Ryuga, and Zangetz. Uh interview uh, Gaimu so I guess that's an interview with um, Gakusano the main actor for Koda or the only actor for Koda when I'm saying main actor uh, <laughs> uh, so that's them um, obviously can't read that so I'm not even gonna bother now it's going to go over the writers. Here is uh, Gaim, and it's showing all the different forms and arms that he's used. I think this is all the arms that he used. It doesn't really seem like much, but... No, I don't think it is. It, it's probably just uh, the main ones that he's been seen using. Of course, we have orange arms on the main page here. Uh, looking all awesome, all these different poses. Um, drive arms, Kachidoki, Suika, Donguri, Durian, Pine, Ichigo, Banana, and the Jinba forms uh, are all there. It's kind of weird. They don't really give the the forms too many um too much recognition. They really just give a picture of the arms and that's it. Um, really wish Kachidoki actually had his own page. Uh, Kiwami has sort of its own page, but it's just sort of uh, it's, it's kind of weird. And it's also weird because they don't have they have all the forms except for Fresh Orange, even though Fresh Orange is really just a, a remodeled orange. It actually is technically a form because the helmet changes. So, that's something I found kind of weird. And it's not even in the book at all. So, yeah, that's strange. Uh, Kiwami, Wizard, Ichigo Arms, Black Gaim, Gaim with a Sakura Hurricane, which is actually my favorite writer machine, just because I love white and pink together. And there's Kiwami using the different stuff. And now it's going on to Baron with his banana arms, obviously. His Rose Tulip, him with the Lemon Energy arms, Suika, Oz, and Mango. So those are the main forms or main um, arms that he used, and also has the logos uh, for them under the name or above the name rather. That's really cool. And now it's just going through a sort of quick of all the other writers, which is actually really cool. These are actually sort of the like the um, the pictures that you would see in a Detail of Heroes book, which is really really cool, and they're all uh, high quality and stuff. So that's really cool. 
that we have Ryugen, Budo Arms, Zangetsu Melon Arms, and it's showing the forms down here. Greedon, Kurokage, Knuckle, and Bravo here. Um, here we have the Energy Riders. That's them, Energy Standby, right there. And they're just striking poses. And over here, these are the Movie Riders. So they have their own page. Mars, Kamuro, Jam, 15, and the arms that he used. Bujengaim and Kurokage Shin, I believe that's his name. I might be wrong, I don't remember. But that's them. And here is the cast. Uh, they got a whole page for the beat writers here. This is Team Baron. I don't know why that was so hard to remember. It has it right there. Team... No, I don't remember the name of their team. Uh, but that's um, Team Raid is here. I don't remember which one they are. That's, these are the teams. Invis page, all the Invis that were in the show, they're all here. They even have Overlord Baron down here, uh, so that's pretty cool. Yggdrasil, all the Yggdrasil workers, um, Takatora, Ryoma, Sid, Yoko, uh, DJ Sagra is in his own little space up there. Uh, the Kurokage troopers are right there, so that's cool. Um, I guess this is an interview with uh, the guy that played Pierre. Metal, y Metal Yoshida? That's that. I don't read Japanese, so obviously we're not even going to bother. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm not sure what this is. This is pretty much just screenshots from the show and highlights, I guess. Uh, we got the Energy Riders debuting here. Um, got him in his first fight up there. Fighting with Baron. This is Bravo when he first got his belt. All of that jazz. I apologize the lighting keeps changing. I, I, I'm trying to get a good spot to put these lights so that they uh, they cover a good amount of the pages. Um, more screenshots from the show. Kiwami. Um, yeah, just more screenshots from the show. I don't remember this ever happening. I, I, I know I skipped a few episodes on, on accident because I just didn't um, remember where I stopped whenever I would pick it back up again. But I do not remember that happening. Um, so I guess I need to watch the Gaim again. <laughs> uh, more screenshots. Gaim killing Baron. So one of the best fights in the show. The best fight in the show, if you ask me. Um, and these are the cameos, actually. These are, um, pretty much one-time monsters. Uh, you got Android Gikator. That one guy from the Tokyo Drift vs. Gaim. Uh, Gaim vs. Withered Enemy. I don't remember his name. I don't remember any other names, actually. And that's Tigeroid. Pocky Cater or something, I don't know. But that's them. Just being one time wonders, one hit wonders. And here's actually one of the coolest pages in the book. This is the lock seed file, uh, pretty much. It has all the different lock seeds. It's got that one Invis one up there. Matsubokuri, Kurumi, Dongari, uh, Fake Dongari, Melon, Pine, Ichigo, Orange, Black Orange, Blood Orange, Banana. Budo, Suika, Mango, Durian, Kiwi, Kachidoki, Kiwami, Sid, Yomi, Dark Apple, 15, Gold Apple, Silver Apple, Lemon Energy, Black Lemon Energy, Cherry Energy, Pe Peach Energy, Melon Energy, Matsubokri Energy, and Dragon Energy, Lock Seeds. And uh, they're all on that side. And on this side, it's really cool. They have all of the Legend Rider Lock Seeds released, um, which is really cool. Ichigo, Nigo, V3, Rider Man, X, Amazon, Stronger, Sky Rider, Super One, Black, Black RX, Shin, ZO, J, Kuga, Agito, Ryuki, Fize, Blade, Hibiki, Kabuto, Den, O, Kiva, Decade, Double, O's, Forze, and Wizard. They're all there. And on this side, we have the movie lock seeds and the lock vehicles, even though they barely even used them. Uh, Heisei and Showa and Drive, and then they've got Koda doing some pose because yeah he's gone cool um i believe these are suit actors i'm i don't exactly know um i feel like i've seen one of them before but i, I don't really know here they're advertising the sengoku driver for whatever reason Gaim's over i don't know why they're even bothering but and that's pretty much the end and it's advertising the other ones uh ryuki in specific because i guess he was recently released at this point no J january's 10th I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and it's showing the cast for the shows and stuff like that. So that's it. On the back, it has apparently they released 
Ichigo and V3, I guess. So, that's the thing. So that's the Gaim official Mook. Um, really nice file, actually. Um, I, I think I'm going to actually pick up some more of the other ones because, uh, I mean, it's just a really nice file. It has all the writers, it has all the gimmicks. Uh, pretty much everything from the show, all in one, except for Fresh Orange, but who cares. Uh, really cheap price, which is really, really cool, um, considering what these are. So uh, I could definitely recommend it, uh, picking one up. Just CD Japan has pretty much all of them, from what I know. Uh, so I, I, I could recommend getting them from them. That's where I got mine from. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.